Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 42 of my Subnautica Season 4 Hardcore Mode Let's Play series. So... Today we are going to set up, I guess, the majority of these teleport gates is one of the plans. Um, I've got some of the, the ion crystals from that. The massive piece in the center. Um, I could test where all these go, and I kind of wish there was markings to state where they go instead of me having to remember. I think that would be a better system, honestly. Um, I don't know whether every single one of these is a teleport cat. I don't think this one is. Oh. Hello, more stuff to look at. What the fuck is in here? God damn. How was that? Emperor Egg Hatching Project Data. Oh, man. This device records all available physical data from a single point in time. The last recorded data set was captured just after quarantine was imposed on the facility. Specimen data. The main containment chamber here housed the Sea Emperor Leviathan and its eggs. Parents Leviathan's health had deteriorated. Its eggs appeared to be in good condition, but in some form of natural stasis. Alien structures. The data shows that within the vast specimen containment unit, an incubation system had been constructed to house Leviathan eggs. Likely, all the alien researchers had refocused their efforts to develop a vaccine on the unborn infants. The incubation systems suggest they had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes which would simulate the natural hatching environment. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and access points to the facility were sealed. Analysis. While the unborn Empress specimen may have held some potential for the development of a vaccine, it is highly unlikely that the parent or children survive having their food supply cut off and being isolated from the rest of the ecosystem. Well, isn't that just a little bit all depressing? Okay, so not all of these are scannable. These are creature eggs, though. I don't know what that is. Can I scan you? Some of these aren't scannable, it seems. These are just, like, all eggs to look at. Okay, so is this like all the creature eggs that are in the game, or gonna be in the game? That's a sea dragon. I don't remember all what all the creature eggs look like. I know they tried it. That's a sea emperor one. What the fuck? What is that? That looks weird. That's like a baby emperor one. This is pretty dope, dude. Can you imagine if you like... ...attacked this, if it like broke the glass? And you could, like, get the eggs out. That's a crab snake up there. Some of these I recognize, some of these I don't. Like, it's been a long time since I played with every single creature egg, so I don't remember them all. But this area is fucking cool, dude. It's a very cool little area. What the fuck is this? Looks like one of those things that stabs you and that checks to see if you're infected or not. Interesting, interesting. Okay. That's that room. Okay. Um, I guess we'll check out this one, and then I probably should either head back out and grab some of the nutritional bars and some water as well. These little bots being around are annoying as hell. Uh, we'll just power this one up as well. Oh, God damn it, the prawn picked them all up. Son of a bitch. Wasting my time. So I should have just brought the problem with me. Looks like the ion crystals are back there. There's more there now. Yeah, the rest of it's like inside the storage module of the prawn suit. Which, can I even reach? Yes, I can. Oh, that's, that's tricky dicky, isn't it? I open the storage and the... Got the prawn suit at the same time. Yeah, it seems like because of the lower gravity you can't... Um, you can't use the jump jet upgrade or something. Unless for some reason I either didn't put it in or it fucking disappeared on me. Like I said, eventually we might we should probably check all these teleport gates, but for now, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to risk breaking the game at the moment. No, in my luck, that's exactly what would happen is the game would break. Alright, let's get out of there. Now I want to probably head out the door for a minute. Oh god, don't get stuck in shit. I just need to get food and water. Food and water. Food and water. Food and water. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, I got the bug that I can't get out of my fucking prawn suit. Why does this happen? We may just be able to put the the prawn suit in here and it will force us out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, that works for me. Let's just eat some of these marble melons for now. Let's also, I guess, cut a couple up. To repopulate the the fucking planter. Yeah, mostly repopulated. We can eat a couple of these as well. Yeah, what I should do is I should take a couple waters with me and a nutrient block. Maybe one of those as well. We've got plenty of med kits, I feel like, but I just like to be on the safe side. Always better to be on the safe side with this kind of stuff, in my opinion. Right, let's get through here. Okay, so there's the other side, and then I think that's it. So it seems like the corner edge rooms are teleport gates, and the middle room's always something different. I think. So we're going to check it out. I think we'll do the teleport gates first, just so we know they're done. And I don't have to worry about them anymore. Yeah, that seemed to have fixed the bug getting in the Cyclops and getting back out. And then we'll check out the middle room. Alright, yep, another warp gate. So I think this just goes to all the main facilities. So one would go to the gun. One would go to the disease research. One to the thermal plant. And another one to... I don't know, somewhere else. I guess maybe the, the mountain biome, or the mountain island. But one would either go to the mountain island or the floating island as well. But that's another one. Alright, yeah, that, that middle room I'm pretty sure is something different, so I'm just going to get all these teleport gates right here. So I know some of you guys and girls probably aren't watching this, and you'll probably watch it back, you know, when you've done the game or whatever, because spoilers. But some of this stuff I haven't seen, because the last time I was here was when the primary containment facility first came out. Um, with the Sea Emperor being first put into it, so... A lot of- all these things weren't filled, they were just all empty. So it's pretty cool to see them actually have stuff in them now. Alright, let's see. Holy... Fuck! This was just pipes with nothing. This looks dope. What the hell could I just scan then? That alien pipe. Peep. Peepers exiting the facility via pipe network. These airflow pipes are transporting peepers out of the facility back towards the surface. All specimens scanned are carrying the enzyme which inhibits bacterial growth and helps the body repair the symptoms of infection. Stomach cavities are all empty. But this takes peepers out. To try and help fight the infection? Ah, look at this. Fucking cool. Wow, dude. This is nuts. Hang on, got to get a good look at this. we got to get a good look at this shit. Look at that shit. Look at the pipe room, dude. That's awesome. God, my game lagged hard when I screenshotted that. Okay, it's like little artificial biomes as well. Alright, I guess let's read this. Alien pump. This machinery is pumping water to and from the attached pipe network. Outflow. Oxygen deprived water is being flooded from the system. Inflow. Analysis of the water composition flowing in indicates it is being drawn from different biomes between here and the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility and oxygen rich. Oh shit! Oh damn, this goes down. These inflow pipes are being used by peepers to access the otherwise isolated facility. Peeper behaviour elsewhere on the planet suggests that they are not being sucked in by accident, but rather have evolved to actively seek out the correct access points. The specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seeds from the surface world, specimens showing different levels of bacterial symptoms. That's interesting, dude. Like, I really like how they've got like these little miniature biomes here, it seems. 
release areas. And this seems like, like doors to me. They seem like doors. I don't know. I can't believe this goes all the way down there. Is that where this leads? Is this a ramp down? Oh, shit. Yeah, it is. Oh, damn. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at them. Look at the peepers go. What the fuck? Oh, there's another biome. Which is pretty cool, dude. Look at it. It looks weird. Why does it look so weird? It doesn't look the same as a normal peeper. Fucking don't kill me, please. They look strange. They look like the eye shape's meant to be like a female peeper or something. It's weird. What the fuck? They don't look right to me. Do they look weird to anybody else? Like, look at that. They don't look the same to me. Their eyes look different. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping balls or something, but this is fucking dope. So, is the idea that the peepers are helping fight the bacterium by being sent in here, giving, giving, getting given a cure or something of that kind, and then taking it out to the outside planet? Like, they're trying to cure it even though they're not around or something? It's strange. That's fucking cool, that pipe room, though. I really enjoyed that. That was good stuff. Alright, so this takes another blue, uh artifact which we don't have um i guess there was probably a way to make them had i scanned it oh great i'm stuck in the prawn suit again um i guess there was probably a way to make it had i scanned it but that burns it sounds like yeah there was probably a way to make it had i scanned it but i guess i didn't so i don't have it now all right sorry about the little cut there um hmm all right then that makes me wonder um maybe we should try going through one of these teleportation gates or something i don't know all right hang on give me a moment and i think we'll go through one of these gates i think that's an idea all right let's try going through one of the gates apparently you can bring prawn suits into the gates now Okay, this is like the mushroom biome teleport gate. I think that's where we are. That's oh, the precursor gun. Okay, have I been into this fucking area? Like this lower bit? Oh. Okay, so it's hidden under, under everything. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Alright, so that's the precursor gun. That's what that one was. Alright. No problem. Let's go back through. Takes his time walking, but he'll get there eventually. We. Anything behind it? No. Nothing of interest. Alright, so that's that one. That takes us to the primary containment facility now. Alright, and let's check probably one more and then we'll end off the episode and I'll set up the next episode with having a blue artifact and all that shit so we can get into the rest of the facility itself. At least it doesn't keep me trapped in there like it used to. When they first, when I first went through those teleport gates, I could never get out of them. I used to get stuck in there. Alright, so let's try, this is the left hand side ones. Okay, so I think one of these is going to either take me to the floating island or maybe the mountain biome. And there's fucking shit hitting the facility out there. They need to fucking fix that. I don't know. Okay. So where's this one going to drop me out? Is this the mushroom biome one? Precursor gun again. What? Excuse me? Really? There's two that take you to the precursor gun? That just doesn't make any fucking sense. Why? I can't. What? Excuse me? Can I not fit? Okay. I guess I'll just... Uh, I can't jump out. Fuck! 
Okay. Well, we can't look at this until I fix that bug. So anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Subnautica, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Help us hit 800 subs. It'd be pretty fucking dope. Thank you all so much for watching. Follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. And I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.